So percentage yield is the ratio of the actual yield to the theoretical yield. Right, so it's calculated by the actual yield of a product divided by the theoretical yield. Then to go and turn it into a percentage, we go and we times it by 100. Right, so the percentage yield, like I've just said, shows the or how much product is actually made when compared to the amount that you would expect to make. The theoretical yield is the maximum mass of product that we can make theoretically. And the actual yield is the amount of product that we actually make. Right, so let's have a look at a quick question. So this question about percentage yield is a little bit trickier. So in a chemical reaction, 25 grams of calcium carbonate is heated to produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. If 18 grams of calcium oxide is obtained, calculate the percentage yield of this of this reaction. Right. To work out the actual yield, we actually have to go back and use our equation for moles on this one. So we need to start off by calculating the number of moles of calcium carbonate we've got. So we're going to do that by the amount, which is 25. Then we're going to divide that by the MR, so the relative formula mass of calcium carbonate, which is 100. So that would go and give us 0.25 moles of calcium carbonate. We can see here it's a one-to-one -one reaction. So if we've got 0.25 moles of calcium carbonate, we're also going to go and get 0.25 moles of calcium oxide. We can then go work out the relative formula mass of calcium oxide, which is 56. We're going to times that by the number of moles, which is 25. So our actual yield is 14 grams. Right. So that one a little bit more tricky than than some of us. We then go to go and place these variables into our equation. So we're going to have the actual yield, which is 14, which we've just worked out, divided by the theoretical yield, which is 18, which is in the question. So our yield is going to be 0.78. Then remember to go and get it into a percentage. We just need to go and times that 0.78 by 100, which would go and give us 78%. So that one, a little bit more tricky, but you just need to take your time when thinking about it.